our city depends on electricity by burning fossil fuels like coal, diesel, and natural gas, we are able to generate electricity from steam turbines. But what happens when we deplete these limited resources? Without fuel, there won't be enough electricity to power central Luzon. There will be brownouts, hospital equipment will shut down, streets will be dark and dangerous. Electronic communications will be disabled. Businesses will be paralyzed. And children won't get the quality of education they deserve. These will become long-term blackouts, affecting our lives and slowing the progress of growing cities in central Luzon. But hope shines above us. The infinite power of the sun. So, how can we harness this power? These are solar cells. They can convert light energy into electricity. Each cell contains two pieces of silicon, one that is negatively charged and another that is positive. When light particles collide with the negatively charged silicon, electrons fall and get attracted to the positively charged silicon. As electrons travel from silicon to silicon, they create a current, which we call direct current electricity, or DC. This is the type of electricity found in batteries. A number of solar cells connected to each other and mounted in a frame is called a module. Each module is designed to generate about 30 volts DC. To generate large amounts of electricity, modules are grouped together to form an array. These are scattered throughout an open field to capture as much solar power as possible. But this electricity is still not ready for public use. It needs to be converted to match the type of electricity needed by home appliances. That's why solar power plants have inverters and transformers. The inverter converts the single current direction of DC electricity to multiple directions of alternating current, or AC. The electricity then flows to the transformer and boosts it to 13,800 volts to reduce power loss when electricity is transmitted to far distances. From the transformer, electricity flows to a substation. This regulates electricity to usable 220 volts using another transformer and distributes power to homes. This is how the Roslog Solar Power Plant in Mexico, Pampanga works. It generates about 10 megawatts of electricity that can power almost 9,000 households or 5 barangays. Unlike fossil fuel plants which can be depleted and produces carbon emissions that harm the environment, Ruslug runs on 100% renewable energy from the sun. In time, this clean and efficient energy source can help save us from power crisis. It generates electricity from the free light of the sun and lessens the cause of global warming that destroys our planet. With the sun's energy, we can have a better community that is safe, empowered, and progressive. I'm Ruslan, and the power of the sun is yours. You can help save the environment too. Plant trees to reduce carbon gas produced by coal power plants. Learn to recycle plastics to reduce carbon buildup. Conserve electricity. Unplug appliances that are not in use. Don't waste clean water. Close the faucet and use a glass when brushing your teeth. Lessen the use of fuel. Walk to school or ride the bike.